Hello everyone, Daniel here from the Next Touch Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review for Moon Knight, Black, White, and Blood, number one. This is a book from Marvel Comics. Uh, there are three different stories here because it is an anthology. So let's go over the creators. Actually, we'll go over the creators as we go through each one of the stories. Uh, but just know that there are three different stories. Uh, the letter for all of them is Corey Petit. And then as you saw in the intro, uh, Bill Sienkiewicz, really cool cover. Uh, so let's talk about the first story. Um, this first story is called Anibus Rex uh, by Jonathan Hickman and Chris Bacalo. Uh, so the premise of these books is that the anthology is not only, it's done by with little stories, but also uh, everything is either red, white, or uh, red, uh, yeah, red, white, and black. Uh, those are the only colors they use. Uh, other than, you know, gradients of gray or whatever. But, yeah, this story, oh, my God. I was talking to Josh, and I really, uh, from the podcast, and we had no way to describe what the fuck just happened here. Um, just know that it's a Jonathan Hickman story, and it talks about pretty much, like, I don't know what. It's a very interesting, weird take on Moon Knight. That's all I'll say. Um yeah, I, I was thoroughly confused, so if you guys can explain to me what the fuck just happened in the chat, uh, please let me know. Uh, but Chris Bacalo on art, I mean, he's fantastic. But I also think that he is the reason that the story is also a little bit, like, so weird because of his art. It's very stylistic, which, like I said, I like. Uh, it was just, like, I don't really know exactly what happened, and maybe that's what's supposed to happen. Uh, then we have the next story, uh, So White Yet So Dark by Murewa Ayodele and Dotun Akenda. Um, this is a Moon Knight slash Spider-Man story. Uh, really cool, fun stuff of them hanging out. Uh, the payoff is really funny, but I did want to show this other page here. Oh, boy. Just really, really cool stuff. Um, very interesting. I like their team up. I love when they team up, so that was really, really cool to see. And then finally, the last, the last story, it's called The End. This is written by Mark Guggenheim and Jorge Fornes. Uh, and you can definitely tell the Fornes art influence here. Um, and I will say, we also, Josh and I also had a discussion about this. This story is told backwards, which took me a little while to figure out because I'm kind of a dummy. Uh, but I mean, Jorge Fornes art, it is made for this stuff. And it's beautiful and it's great. Uh, so yeah, I really enjoyed this book. Uh, I do have a preview of the next cover, Ryan Stegman killing it on this Moon Knight cover. Uh, so highly recommend you pick up this series if you're just looking for standalone Moon Knight stories that don't really have like big consequences or big uh, things in continuity. Just fun creators doing fun stories about Moon Knight. Interesting creators that you may not have seen them work on the books before. So highly recommend you check that out. I love these uh, black, uh, black, white, and blood series um, uh, that they're doing. They did one for Electra. They've done one for Wolverine, Deadpool, like all these characters. So highly recommend you check that out if you want more Moon Knight. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe. Hit the bell so you know when we go live that it's most Sundays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned because we have more trailer reactions, comic reviews, movie reviews, TV recaps, all that fun stuff. Uh, and as always... Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.